You know I have one major problem with smartwatches. When they run out of power, they become pretty stupid. Well, the smartphone game's about to change and the time is now. So, so far we've had two generations of smartwatches. The first generation with just a few of the big manufacturers like Samsung and LG and Huawei making smartwatches and they were okay but like I said at the beginning of the video that battery life problem is a big one because it's just another thing to charge as well as your phone now you've got to charge your watch as well major major problem people still bought them I even got one myself but to be honest I don't use it that much because of that major major problem with battery life. And then we saw the second generation of smartwatches where the big manufacturers once again were on board with it, but we also saw a load of designer brands making designer watches with smart features. People like Louis Vuitton and Michael Kors, but the same problem occurred. Battery life dies, your watch becomes no longer a smartwatch, but a dumb watch because you can't even tell the time of it. But now we have the third generation and this is something I'm really, really excited about because I believe Qualcomm have actually figured out the main number one problem that actually stops me from buying another smartwatch and it's the battery life problem. So this new processor, the Snapdragon Wear 3100 will change the game forever and the time is now. So what's new with this new processor? Well, basically the older style 2100 Snapdragon processor just had the A7 chip and a DSP. Now what we've got is four A7 processors, a new DSP and the all new ultra low power co-processor. So Qualcomm had designed this from the ground up with the three levels and this new low power co-processor actually uses 20 times less power than the old Snapdragon 2100. So basically what happens when you're using this watch day to day, instead of using that power hungry A7 processor set, it will actually switch back and forwards between the new low power processor and the power hungry A7 processors and DSP. So by doing this, when you're not using the watch, it's basically using hardly any power at all, making your smartwatch remain smarter for much, much longer. Now, it does depend on how you use your watch. If you've got a Louis Vuitton smartwatch and all you do is check a couple of messages, check the time, then you could see up to 30 day battery life. If you're using it as a smartwatch for sports, then we're talking about a different story because the processor needs to be running the heart rate monitor, the GPS, and maybe some music, for example. And in those cases, we can see up to five times battery life. The normal right now is around three hours. This new Snapdragon 3100 could give you up to 15 hours battery life on a sports smartwatch. And to me, that's really, really impressive. And it's a big leap forward in smartware. So this new processor is definitely gonna change the smartware game. And I fully expect to see a whole range of new smartware devices becoming available very, very soon. And I heard that the kids smartwatch market is about to blow up, not literally, but I heard it's starting to get really popular. I guess it's just more interest from parents wanting to keep an eye on where their kids are and also kids enjoying the technology more than some of the older audiences out there. So I fully expect to see a lot more smartware become available very, very soon. And I heard that Huawei are actually gonna be one of the first companies on board with this new processor. So keep your eye out on new stuff from them. They're big players in the game. They're number two behind Samsung in the smartphone market. So I expect something really, really good from Huawei. And you might be wondering when these new smartware devices are gonna become available. And it's this year, the time is now up to 30 day battery life on a smartwatch. I want to test one of these out to find out if that is really, really true. And if you guys are finding me for the first time, make sure you hit the subscribe, turn on the notifications and hit the thumbs up if you can, because I'd really appreciate it. And I'm going to do my best to get one of these smartwatches to test for you guys. That's it for now. Until we actually see these in the real world, we don't know how good this new process is actually going to be, but stay tuned to what gear. I'm gonna try and investigate for you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know what to do. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't be late.